Hey everybody, it's Matt again. Um, today I want to make a short video about gouger care and what to do with your gouger once you've used it. Um, so here I have one of my Ross gouging machines. They're great machines, I love them. Um, I've just used it, you can see a little bit of cane here. And I need to put it away, but I don't want the blade to rust or anything else to go, to go wrong while it's sitting on the shelf waiting to be used again. And um, I'm demonstrating on a Ross machine, but this applies to any gouging machine you use, a RDG machine, a graph machine, furlough, Inaletti, anything you want. Um, first, I wanna give one little tip, which is when you use a machine, whether it's yours or whether it belongs to a school that you go to, try not to gouge too many pieces on it at one time. Um, I usually try to stick between five and 10 pieces in one sitting. Um, for a few reasons, this um, decreases the wear on the blade, and this is especially important if you are sharing the machine with other studio mates. Um, but also, if there's anything at all wrong with the setup of your machine, you won't have wasted 30 or 40 pieces of cane on that you know, badly set up machine. So I try to stick to six, six to 10, maybe a, maybe a dozen pieces at once. Um, so what to do before you put your gouger away um, for storage or just until the next time you use it. First thing is you grab a brush. This is, I uh, just got this at a craft store. It's a nice soft brush and brush under the clips. Just brush all the cane dust off around here. And especially you wanna brush the blade inside the top of the blade there to get all the cane out, get any cane out there. You can take a paper towel and wipe it off to get any other moisture off because moisture is what we're really concerned about here. We don't want this steel blade to rust. The brass will not rust, it's not able to rust, um, but the steel will, and we don't want that to happen. So before I put it away, I wanna oil a couple of things. Um, one is this rod that the carriage rides on, and for this I use, this is uh, Lily White sewing machine oil. Dan Ross recommended I use this. It's very thin, it doesn't stain anything. I think it's fairly non-toxic too, which is nice. Um, so I just put a drop of this here and a drop here and just move the carriage back and forth, spread that around and it helps it uh, move really freely. The next thing I do is put a little uh, cotton ball or cotton pad there, gently close the carriage onto the cotton, cotton pad. And then this is just mineral oil which is very health safe. And I pour a decent amount of mineral oil down onto the blade, and that's about it. Um, I've seen some other people uh, advocate not using a cotton ball because it could keep moisture next to the blade. Um, and instead what they'll do is they'll take a, a little piece of paper or a cardboard covering from a, a razor blade and put oil on that and then carefully put oil on the blade and store it without the, the cotton. Um, that sounds fine to me. I just, I've always done it this way and I've never had a problem with rust, so I keep doing it that way. So uh, I hope that's helpful and happy gouging.